All right, when stuffing our bunny, I like to start with the two main pieces. I will start stuffing the head first and then I'll stuff the torso part and sew these two together. You're, they're the main part of your body, so we wanna start with these two pieces, okay? So I take the head part. I use polyfill. to stuff my stuffed animals, original polyfill. But you can use, of course, whatever you want to use. Now, this is where it's important that that tight stitch we did is super important because the more I stuff this bunny, the more those stitches are going to stretch and I don't want to see a bunch of white holes. When you're stuffing, you also want to feel out, you want to give your, your creation a little squish and feel like, do I want it to be this firm of a stuffed animal? Do I want it to be a, or less stuffing and have it be a squishier stuffed animal? This is totally up to you. This is the part where you can really personalize it to how you want it to feel. Do I want my bunny to be more firm or do I want it to have a real good squish to it to be extra snuggly? Okay, I feel like the head part is done at the moment. Moving on to the torso part. And it's okay if you don't completely fill up the sections and wait and you wait till you start sewing and closing these two up and I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a second. So there, I feel like I have finished stuffing those two sections. I'm gonna take my yarn needle and <clears throat> the yarn attached to the head portion that I made a long tail. String that through. Perfect, ooh, it's exploding out put you back in there. Okay, when I go to sew my sections together, I look for that yarn tail line. So right here, you can see that yarn tail line. I'm gonna line this up with the yarn tail line that was made on the head. So match those two up. And that's how I identify where to start sewing my pieces together, okay? Now there should be an equal count of stitches because we ended our head portion with 24 stitches and we ended our body portion with 24 stitches. So you should be able to line up each stitch, okay? And even if you miss a count or whatnot, just go over it. You can sew into the exact same so I go over this side, find the next stitch, plug it in. Then I come from the inside of the head and find a stitch, the next stitch, and go out like that. In from the outside and then come from the, out, or the inside out. And it forms this real nice connection. Go ahead and continue doing this all the way around. All right, we're gonna pause right here for a second, right where there's just enough of an opening where we could add some stuffing if we want to. This is where you're going to mold your creation, 
whether it be a bunny or any other stuffed animal you are working on. So really mold it, give it a squish. Is this what you want? Is this how you want it to feel? Okay, now is the time you get to decide, oh, I think it needs more stuffing. So you would put more stuffing in there. Oh, this area right here, that looks a little flat. Go in there and push some stuffing in that direction. This is where you make your final decisions before you completely close the creation, okay? Go ahead and finish your close. Going to just go ahead and cross it right here, cross right across all those knots. Great, and I'm even gonna pass it kind of go a second round again real quick. Okay, perfect. We have completely sealed. Now go around it. Do a double check, okay? Really look to make sure that you didn't miss a stitch and have like a big gap in between some stitches here. Go through, look at that line. Perfect, when, when you feel confident that it is completely sealed, what I do is I take my yarn, I find the stitch that I just passed through, insert my needle, come out the other side right here. Okay, I take this yarn that I pinched and didn't let go all the way through and I twist it. Then I come in from the other side Pull through. It's like a, a knot. I'm just forming a knot. And so when I pull it through, it just forms that slip knot. Pull it really nice and tight right there. Reinsert your hook where you first inserted it, or your needle, sorry. Let's push it all the way through the other side of the work. And pull it through. What this did is it pulled the yarn through all of that mass of stuffing that's inside the creation. And that mass of stuffing is going to hold that yarn in place. So it isn't going to pull out in any way. Cut that there. And now that yarn is secured. Perfect. All right. So it's Funny story for you. I was creating the bunny for the demo for to show you before the video even started. And I had all the pieces laid out just like this. And I had my friend, Candle of the Wind, Hannah Golden, she was watching me make this project and she thought that she saw it upside down. <laughs> And she's like, that is the most hilarious looking bunny I think I've ever seen. And I love it. And I'm like, what are you looking at right now? I don't, I don't understand. And she was like, wait, wait, I thought that this was the head and this was the body and that it was a chubby bunny. And I was like, that's hilarious. That is so funny. So I had to make you a demo of what she thought she saw. She thought she saw this. So I gave him a little belly button and he's got his little tail, but this is an upside down version of this, if you can see it. <laughs> so I just love different perspectives. You can take something that you've made a ton of and then have somebody see it a completely different way and you have a completely different creation. So you've got this really funny Wallace and Grummer kind of chubby bunny. Easter Bunny with his tail and his little belly button or you've got the original bunny that is just as cute. So I just wanted to show you how you can take one thing and manipulate it into something else and have a completely new thing. So the reason why I pointed this out to you, I'm going to put these two guys right there and right there, is now is the time that you're going to decide. Are you going to do the original bunny with the big head and the smaller body, or are you going to do the chubby bunny and have it upside down with the head smaller and the big belly? 
okay? So depending on what you wanna do, this is where you decide. So I'm gonna go ahead and have him be th like this. The next part that I usually at tackle are the ears. I'll take that smaller yarn and I'll shove it in there. Take a little bit of stuffing. This stuff goes a long way, so. Squeeze it, mold it, shift it to make sure it's getting everywhere you want it to go. How I ideally like my ear to turn out, pinching it flat, that it looks like that from the side, okay? So it'll look like this from the front and like this from the side, not overly stuffed. So I'm gonna take the end of that yarn that's attached, the sewing yarn that's attached to it. I'm gonna go ahead and string it through. Okay, so when it comes to the ears, I look for the circle. I look for the big circle. And I'll place in front of the circle to the side. There's one. Then I'll look at the front, be like, yeah, that looks like a good spot. This, of course, is some another place where you can deviate. This Everything is going to look different. Every project is going to look different. But I usually go one space from the middle and I'll go a little in front of that little circle, okay? So when you are sewing, when you're sewing this guy onto your bunny, you're just going to make sure you put it where you want it, find the space on the bunny where you can attach. And I go from the outside of the ear in and then I will go in that same spot that I came out of next. Okay. Again, I'll go from the outside in, reattaching that same hole that the yarn is coming out of. Go to the next one over. I am also following the ear. So I have that ear right where I want it. So I'm not just going that direction or going that direction. I am following the ear. I'm following the holes that it lines up on. You can go in, find that same hole that that yarn came through. Go in there and it lines up with this one. There. Now I will see I've reached the end of that and my ear is starting to turn. So I'm going to turn my body in that hole. See where it lays flat. I'm going to turn that way. And just watch your work. If you feel like you messed up, like all of a sudden your ear is cocked, cockeyed, and you're like, oh no, my ear is going that way, or oh no, my ear is going that way. Just remove your needle from the yarn, hold that ear, and you'll see the stitches. Just pull it out, pull it out. Until you've reached the part where you're like, okay, now I can readjust where the ear is, put it back down, and re sew it on. Okay, so go ahead and continue sewing this ear onto the head. Perfect, okay, I have closed it all the way around. If you want to, sometimes I will go around it one more time with, depending on how much tail you have. If you have enough tail, I would definitely sew one more time it around because 
you have to keep in mind, what is this kid going to do with this stuffed animal? You will definitely see some kids grab the ear and fling it around, okay? You wanna make sure that that connection is going to be strong enough to withhold that kid doing this for a long period of time, okay? So if you feel confident, no, I don't need to do another sew layer around, go ahead and tie it off, tie it in a knot, just like this, all the way through. Take your yarn, twist it, put it through, and tie it tight for your slip knot, okay? But if you feel like, no, I have a kid that I just know is going to be very, or have a lot of fun with this bunny, and they're going to really play hard with this bunny, then it might just be in your best interest to go ahead and do that extra layer just, just to be safe. Also, this is a great time for you to find or squish your stuffing, find your placement. Make sure that you're happy with it before you tie your knot, before you make it set in stone. Is this how I want it to look? Okay, we've reached the other end here and I'm gonna tie it off. Great. Okay, ear number two. All right, lining it up. You'll notice that when I lined up this first one, it was one space away from the hole, and when I sewed it on, it came up right to that hole. It happens. Just be aware that that is going to happen. So when you get ready to sew this ear onto your bunny, you just keep, you start in that same place that you started before and you know it'll just gravitate to that location. Of course, you can always fix your location if you're not happy with it by undoing the stitches like I showed you before. It's a definite good time to play around with your creation, perfect it the way you want it to be. We are now in the stage where you can be yourself. You can make this how you want to make it. It's so cool. Now with this ear, I clearly don't have enough to go around the ear one more time, but I'm still gonna do that check before I tie that knot. Make sure he looks just how I want him to look. And he looks pretty awesome. Stitches look very clean up top. Everything looks good. I see a little spot right here that worries me a little bit, so I'm gonna come backwards and I am going to close that one little spot up so that way I'm not worried about any gaps. Cool, ears done, check. Okay, next on the list are our arms. The arms. Now the arms I want more rounded. The ears I definitely wanted more flat, right? But the arms I want more rounded. They're arms after all. I will want to give them a little pinch here so when I sew them on, they kind of go downwards. I don't want them to be like so stuffed that they're like, oh, you can do that. That's really fine if you do that but I like mine a little pinched at the top. 
so when I come down, they come downwards a little bit. I place my arms at the base of the head right there. Make sure I'm in line with the front of the body. Right there. Where is my yarn coming from? It's coming from there. And just follow along with where the arm is. And because I know I want the top of the arm to be thinner, I know, oh, my row was just right here, so I'm gonna wanna go really close to that row when I'm sewing the top. Cool. Now again, if you had enough yarn to go around this arm one more time, I would do so because you're going to get that kid grabbing the arm and flinging this bunny around. But otherwise, these stitches, look how strong those stitches are. Like you can pull, pull real good and they're attached, man. It's awesome. So then I kind of give it a little squeeze, give it a little fluff up. And now it moves up and down. So hi. <laughs> and it's more flexible by having this top part a little on the thin side. Okay. I'm going to go around, make sure I don't have any major gaps anywhere before I tie him off. Okay. I'm good. I'm going to put the knot either in the armpit or in the back of the arm. Arm number two. Here we go. Again, you can choose to have it very lateral where you could cut it in half and everything is symmetrical. You could bring it forward to have him have more of that, I'm gonna hug you look. So what are you gonna do? Are you gonna put it on the side or are you gonna put it more forward like I wanna hug, okay? Two different ways of doing this. Line it up again, the arm is gonna go right next, to, right in that corner, right where the head and the body come together. You want the top of the arm on the flatter side, so it does that like waving motion. Or you can stuff the whole thing and have it very plushy, that's up to you. Oh my gosh, all the many ways to diversify a stuffed animal, it is so cool. Is it weird that I kind of consider myself like a Frankenstein when I make stuffed animals? I'm like, it's alive. It's just when you make something with your hands and it comes together, it's already filling up with love. Like you're, you're giving it emotion. You're giving it love. You're giving it its own personality. It's, it becomes like an emotional thing. And I feel like the emotion, the love that you put into what you're making, what you're creating, carries over to whoever you give it to. They feel it. They just get the vibe from it that this was made from somebody and love actually went into making it. It's a beautiful thing. How do you look? My arms look great. Okay. I have enough for an extra round, so I'm gonna do this real quick. If you want to, you can too. If you don't want to, just check to make sure there's no holes. And then go ahead and tie off your yarn. But I have a lot of yarn here. So I'm going to go ahead and go over it one more time. Alright, I am super happy with where my arms are at. 
I'm right in that armpit section right there, so I'm gonna put my knot right here because it's not a likely place to be seen. Insert my needle, other side of the work. Perfect. Onto the feet. Woohoo!